What have I told you? That is the number seven in base 10. Or if I have in lights on, that's the number 1023 in base 10. But what if I have 1000 lights on? What is that number in base 10? What is base 10? <laughs> More often than not, we use these 10 digits to describe counting numbers. That's why we call it base 10. But what if we only use ones and zeros? On or off? That system is binary. Zeros and ones. Kind of like off and on. It's a companion number system, kind of like base 10 that you learn about when you're little. Now. This system is kind of like base 10 in that you're working with sums of exponents of two. And if that makes no sense to you right now, don't worry about it. It's kind of advanced when you start talking about exponents. You'll get to that in a later class, whether that's with me. Or Take this single light bulb. If it's off, that's zero. If it's on, that's one in the binary system. Or two to the zero power. Don't worry if that doesn't make sense right now. Two to the zero power, you'll learn more about exponents later. And in binary is the same thing as two in base 10. You turn on this light bulb, and that means you're using two to the one or two in base 10. Again, think of binary as being on or off. That means three in base 10. What does that look like in binary? Well, you're gonna need both lights on. Yeah, so if you're saying both lights are on, you're using two to the one and two to the zero. In other words, two plus one or three. Ha ha. But what if I have three lights? If this one is on, that's one, zero, zero, or 100, but in binary. 100 in binary is, well, in base 10, it's two to the second power or two squared, two times two, which is four. That's why if all three lights are on, that's four plus two plus one or seven, again, in base 10. So 111 in binary is seven in base 10. 1,000 in binary is two to the third power, which is two times two times two, also known as eight. The zeros tell us that there won't be a four or a two or a one. So 1,000 as a binary number is eight in base 10. Who needs to know this? Computer and software engineers and some electrical engineers among the other professions. But how useful is this skill? Well, glad you asked. We rate it four out of five avocados. Your turn. What is the binary number 10,000 in base 10? If you're the first to correctly answer this, you'll be the winner of this video's digital half-eaten meatball sandwich. Hurry, supplies are limited. Do you remember the original question at the beginning of the video? What if we have one million lights on? First, that's a lot of lights. Ha, huh. second, that's way too many lights for us to sit here and count them all one by one. Good news, there's a formula. If T is equal to two to the zero power plus two to the one power plus dot 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 plus two to the N minus one power, then T is equal to two to the N power minus one. If that doesn't make sense, don't worry. In other words, if we have one million lights on, that is two to the one million power minus one in base 10. That number is so big. We gotta bring in the big guy, Mr. Bananas. because we got an error, and we know that even the calculator on the phone can display scientific notation up to one, followed by 160 zeros. And that tells me that two to the one million power is much larger than we can possibly wrap our heads around right now. 
I mean, it's bigger than one followed by 160 zeros, which is bigger than a Google, which is one followed by 100 zeros. In fact, it should be bigger than one followed by 250,000 zeros, but that's way above and beyond the scope of this video. I mean, that number's so big, I don't even know a name for it. Welcome to the bonus section! What is the base number 10, number 24 as a binary number? 